All right, guys, so today I want to take a look at this item that I just received here a while back. And it is the Zilke Ultra Recovery Hard Drive Converter for both IDE and SATA to USB 3. What this will allow you to do is, is to take your hard drive, either 3.5 inch IDE, 2.5 inch IDE, or your SATA, connect them into the proper connector, and with the proper hookup, access data off of a hard drive that is not in a computer. So let's take a look at the connections on the ports, top side. First you'll see on the left. Now that is for if you're using a three and a half inch IDE hard drive and then you need to go from the large to small four pin Molex power cable. So that's what that's for. Next you have the USB 3 that will go to your computer. Next is your uh, power supply plugs into here. And then this is your on off switch. On, off. So let's take a look at what you get. Obviously you're going to get the uh, converter unit. You'll get a power cord adapter from AC to DC. And the approximate length of that adapter uh, cord is 36 inches. You also get USB 3 cables. And these cables are approximately 39 inches overall. You'll get this large to small 4-pin Mullix power cable. You get this uh, small pamphlet that has instructions on the proper use of this unit. Also included in this order was this complimentary USB to C adapter and um, it was usually stated as being a 1495 value. Now I ordered this unit on November 30th of 23 which was Black Friday and I've been getting, oh well, you, you see this all the time. and. Uh, it showed that the normal price was $59.95. They were having a 25% off, which is $14.99 off of that price. So it was $44.96 plus tax. And then I received this unit on December 6th of 23. So let's plug in this hard drive. Now this is a SATA. It's very easy to tell um, what, what you want to do is if you're not sure is just hold up either connector side close to it you'll see what's going to mate up to it and what I do is I've got my USB cords plugged in both both ends I've got my power cable plugged in and I've got the power turned off and I like my hard drive setting down flat on a surface then I'll bring the adapter in and get it, yeah, let's see, I'm doing this on the other side of the camera. So there, now I'll come in like this, get it close, and plug it in just like that. It's that easy. Now let's take a look at the uh, computer. We'll go ahead and turn it on. And I just heard the hard drive spin up. And there you see that that drive has opened on its own the folder for that drive and then any data that's on there there's nothing on this one you can copy and paste to another uh, uh, your computer somebody else's computer wherever you want to transfer that data you'll note that blue light so whatever port your hard drives in it's in this one here so it'll be in the uh, that leftmost as we're seeing it here at light 
if you had one plugged in here it would be in the middle light and then if you have one plugged in over here you'd have the rightmost light would be plugged in that way you know that it's connected now once you've transferred your data and you're done it's very important to disconnect this properly through your computer which I've already selected here and now it's disconnected properly the next thing that I would do is take this on off switch and just flip it to off and for those that aren't sure the side with the zero is off the side with the line on it is the on next we're going to hook up a three and a half inch IDE drive now this hooks up differently than your SATA uh, remember I said they provide you with a large to small four pin Molex power cable the large portion obviously will go in here and then your small port the small end will plug into the converter into the white female port so I'm going to hook up the uh, cable to the hard drive first and this is polarized it's got these little 45 degrees and that on each side here it can only go one way into the hard drive just like that next I'm going to plug the other small end and it's got two raised surfaces and it easily you can see how the unit it only goes one way so now there's that portion of it all right so next we're going to connect this and like I said with the other one I like to keep it down flat bring your connector and being careful not to turn it on I guess another thing you could do actually if you want to be a hundred percent safe is unplug it from the power outlet so if you did bump this you don't have anything connected but I'm going to be careful here and so you'll make this up getting the pins lined up and push it in just like that all right let's turn this bad boy on see what happens Now you should be able to hear that spinning, that humming. What do we see happening or what do we not see happening? So it will not access a hard drive that's damaged. This one here, I've kept this in case I ever find some software or something, some way to get into it. I'm not even sure what's on it. This is only a 20 gig hard drive. I mean, it, this thing is, uh, in fact, I've got a note on it that uh, this is from the year 2000. It's a Max door, 20 gig unit, and it was purchased in uh, 2000. So, just so that you know, and also, if I come down here, the add remove um, is not even available because it doesn't see the hard drive so just wanted to make sure you understand that this is not something that will bring data back from a hard drive that's failed it must be in working order for this to work properly for, for you to access any kind of data in fact I'll read directly from the uh, third third page here at the bottom can I restore files from the old hard drive if it is broken no the hard drive needs to be in working condition so at this point it doesn't matter I'll just shut it off like that you heard it spin down so here's what I do to keep all this I like to keep things organized and so that you don't lose parts and pieces um, this is I like their containers uh, 
system I'm not sure how you pronounce this S-I-S-T-E-M-A and this is the 33 ounce size <coughs> so that lets me put in my directions my adapter cable I can put in the power cord AC adapter I can put in I'll put that in here like that put in the power cable put in the other adapter and put in the actual unit itself just like that now everything is stored I'd have to lose the whole thing I don't have to worry about a cable being missing it's all there what's my opinion of this I think it's a nice unit small compact gives you everything you need um, it works and I do have I've had for a long time other type of things with uh, 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 cables and wires what I like about this again very small very compact nice little unit does the job